we're looking at the five times table. And what we're going to do is just, I'm just going to write down the five times table. Five, 10, 15. What do you notice to start with? Can you see that the ones digit goes from five to zero to five to zero to five to zero? Every single number in the five times table either ends has a ones digit of the five or the zero, five or zero, five or zero, and they go in a pattern. And can you see on this side, they also go, the tens digit goes in a pattern, one, one, two, two, three, and the next number will be a three, and it goes five, zero, five, zero, five, zero. So the next uh, ones digit will be a five. So the next answer is 35. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to look at um, the even numbers and the odd numbers separately. This is one times five. This is an odd number. Two times five. This is an even number. Three times five. Four times five. What do we notice about the even numbers? So if this is an even number, this one, this one. What do we notice about the even numbers? Well, they all end in zero. 10 ends in a zero, 20 ends in a zero, and 30 ends in a zero. The way that we get to uh, the answer with an even number in the five times table is we look at the two. We look at the two and we go, well, what's half of two? Or you might like to think about it as what's half of 20, because two times 10 is 20. What's half of 20? Well, what's half of two? Half times 20 is 10. Half of two is one with a zero at the end. A one in the tens place and a zero in the tens place. So if we think, okay, we're thinking here two times 10 is 20. And so therefore two times five is 10. What about four times five? If we have four times five, we can think of it as four times 10. And what's half of four times 10? Well, that's 20. Or we can think of what's half of four. Half of four is two. We've got a two and because we know it's an even number in the five times table, it has to end in zero. So what's six times five? It's 30. And then one that I haven't written down already, what is uh, eight times five going to be? We can think, well, eight times 10 is 80. What's half of 80? Well, the answer is going to be 40. Or what's half of eight? Half of eight is uh, four and then we uh, the tens digit is going to be four with a zero at the end. So the even numbers are relatively straightforward to do. We, we know that it's going to be um, half of 10 times that number. Half of, of 60 is going to be 30. What about those odd numbers? The odd numbers, in fact, I'll look at this one here. What have we got? Well, this odd number, is a one, it ends in a five. This one, it ends in a five. This one, it ends in a five. And seven times five, well, that ends in a five as well. So we've spotted a pattern. All of the odd numbers, when we multiply an odd number by five, we end up with a five. One way of thinking about, about the odd numbers are if we've got, let's show you down here, five times five. If we're doing five times five, we know it's going to, to have a five in the ones digit. We now need to work out what this digit's going to be. Now, the way that I do it is I think about, well, I know that four times five, four times five is going to be 20. And if I look at the pattern above here, four times five is 20. Five times five is 20, 
five. This pattern that we spotted at the beginning, one, one, two, two, three, three, the odd numbers are always the same as the previous even numbers, 10 digit. The 10 digits are the same here. So if I'm thinking about my five times, five times five, I think about my four times five, which is 20, and then I just add a five. Four times five is 20. Five times five is 20 plus five, which is 25. Let's do that again with nine times five. So nine times five, well, we know it's going to end in a five. We know that the ones digit is going to be a five. So let's think what's eight times five. Well, that's 40. And so what's this answer going to be? It's going to be 45. Let's, let's give you some to, uh, to practice on then. What is four times five? Four times five is 20. What about five times five? Five times five is 25. Three times five fifteen. Seven times five thirty five. And there we have it. We have a way of working out our even numbers in the five times table and also our odd numbers. Use your multiplication square. Use your drill sheets, use whatever you've got to hand to work out what they are and check them with your multiplication squares in order to be able to work out and practice those five times tables. Remember also your flashcards, all great ways of practicing those, flash, those five times tables over and over again.